Hello guys, my name is Sura and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I actually have some confessions to make. So if you don't know, I used to live in Sweden like two years ago before I moved here to Istanbul. And while living there, I really had very bad mental health issues and I tried to fix all of that with retail therapy and the only thing that I was interested in or wanted to buy was books and so I accumulated lots and lots of books and no matter how much I read it didn't make a dent into my TBR because first of all I'm a slow reader and also because some days were so bad I accumulate like 18 books so a month and i can't read all of that in a month obviously um so yeah today i'm going to show all of my tbr like mm -hmm. i am very nervous about this because i know how bad it is and also please please don't judge me i know how bad it is i already feel guilty enough uh, about having all of these unread books but i'm trying to fix this i'm being honest here and i want to i'm like i'm doing this video because i want to see all of my books this is kind of a reference video to me as well and also so that i can start you know I haven't been buying any books if you notice this used to be a booktube channel and mainly now it's a manga not because you know i'm not reading any books but also because i'm not buying any so yeah i'm going to show you my tbr uh this is not like i'm not going to give, give like the storylines or synopsis about every book maybe like to give a comment here and there this is mostly showing you my tbr i just remembered i have some books that i haven't brought even here <laughs> I'm having like a nervous breakdown so yeah please don't judge me and I'm gonna get through this I'm going to read all of these and maybe there's gonna be an unhaul soon because I'm no longer interested in some of these so yeah without further ado let's get right into the TBR please don't judge please let's start so this is my TBR my book TBR all of my books Peter Pan by GM Barry I can't believe I still haven't read this. So maybe I'll pick it up this month because it sounds like perfect for spring and I have it in this puffin edition which I adore. Mm. The Last Leaves Falling by Sarah Benwell. I have no idea what this is. Stephen King Finders Keepers. Uh, this is from Mr. Mercedes series I believe. I have the whole series. Don't worry guys. And I have every book in an edition, in a different edition like could I be more destructive? Frankenstein by Mary Shelley in this beautiful Barnes and Noble leather bound edition. It's Frankenstein. Every Halloween I'll be like, what time I read Frankenstein? And I don't. Here it is, the rest of the Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, the rest of the series. I Do Not Disturb by A.R. Torre. I read the first book in the series and it's a very spicy, mystery thriller series and i really loved it and i really want to continue it but i want to buy the third book before i actually read the second one just <sighs> my way of thinking virginia wolf mrs dalloway it's virginia wolf it's a modern classic i haven't read it the wise man's fear by patrick crawfish i know how much this series is loved on booktube and that was one of the reasons i bought it but each book in this series is almost a thousand pages and I am not a fan of high fantasy so I don't know why I picked this up Paper Princess from by Aaron Watts I know this is the first book in the series uh, Love Life and the List by Casey West it's just a cute book I guess it's really perfect to pick up now maybe uh, the Bond Season by Samantha Shannon. This is another YA series. I rarely read YA series, but I have tons of them. Broken Monsters by Lauren Bukes. I love the cover. Isn't that a stunning, mysterious cover? My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I love Grady Hendrix covers. They're so cool. Uh, Look at the end pages of this. His Bloody Project by Graeme Mecker Burnt. And it's supposed to be horror or something. I don't know. 
The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. I picked the I picked this up because it was supposed to be like a combination of Gossip Girl and something else, but I love Gossip Girl, it's one of my favorite things ever, and so that's why I picked it up. The Circle by Dave Eggers. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. This was a gift like more than five years ago. Uh, the Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. I love the name and I love the aesthetics of this book, but I haven't picked it up yet. Book series, I really don't care for it. I really wanna throw it in the trash now. I don't feel like reading it at all, except that I have these beautiful UK covers. This is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. I, Jay Kristoff has always like creeped me out. And after what happened like on Twitter, I, when someone asked him, how did he prepare for a Japanese novel? And he's like, I drank sake and ate pokey. And there are a lot of Asian authors struggling out there. I just, it really put me off all of his work and I heard terrible things about Never Night. This is God's Grave. Uh, I haven't read them. I don't feel like reading them at all now. I just want to throw them out, to be honest. Uh, but these were expensive. So, yeah. Next is Mine by Robert, Robert McManon. Thomas Harris Hannibal. This isn't even, even the first book. Silence of Lambs is the first book, and I have to read that one to be able to read this one. Uh, Skull Sworn by Brian Staveley. This is another high fantasy that I know nothing about. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. This is Agatha Christie's the Adventure of the Christmas Pudding. I love Agatha Christie, and I, I'm gonna read that one, once upon a Christmas, you know, <laughs> maybe. Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. I despise this series. I tried reading this twice. Look at my bookmark at page 46. I despise Ray Sand. He's the worst character ever. And he's a very toxic person. And you all are just... He bewitched you all. He's terrible. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Uh, so I had the thing that whenever I go thrifting, if I see a Harry Potter book, I pick it up. Even though I only read the first book and I didn't like it. So I have different editions of different books of Harry Potter. And now I don't feel like reading any of them. Um, the Metamorphoses and Other Stories by Franz Kafka, for some reason. Uh, the Love Song of Miss Queenie Hennessy. Uh, this is a second by Rachel Joyce. I heard this book series is actually amazing, but this is the second book and I need to get the unlikely pilgrimage of Harold Fry to be able to, to read this one. The Dark Tower, The Drawing of the Three by Stephen King. This is his book series, the sci-fi one. I don't feel like reading it at all. I don't know, I don't know why I have that one. Uh, J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter's The Prisoner of Azkaban. This is my favorite edition. These were the ones that I actually bought full price. I have the first three books in this edition. And again, I don't feel like reading them anymore. She is such a messy person. Uh, Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken from the Darkest Mind series. I actually want to read this series, except I have the second book or the third. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one is this one. The Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I love the author. I follow her on Instagram, but I heard that this has very, very bad. She's a British author white British author and I have this is called Rebel of the Sands so you know where this is going I heard that it has a very bad rep for I'm not sure if they are Arab or Muslims or whatever but yeah Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter this is based on a Russian urban mythology or urban legend and I was so excited when I picked it up, but I heard terrible things about it later on. The Passage by Justin Cronin. This is a long, this is almost 900 pages and it is a vampire novel. And I believe it's a series. The Cemetery Boys by Heather Brewer. This is just a YA series or YA book. The Language of Thorns by Leo Bardugo. I have like almost every Leo Bardugo book and I haven't read any of them for some reason. But this is why I started the Shadow and Bone. So we can actually get started on this, you know? The series is out. Let's continue.
continuations left and right coming out to our time. The Hearts We Sold by Emily Lloyd Jones. Jones, uh, I heard this was actually good. Uh, the Dark Days Club by Alison Goodwin. I actually heard this series is incredible. Uh, and I have a second book as well. The Dark Days Pact. I hate that they changed the cover. Look how beautiful this cover is and how terrible this one is. No offense to the person on the cover. I just hate people on book cover. Douglas Adams, The Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It contains all his five books in this classic. And I haven't read any of them. Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. I have every Jeffrey Eugenides books except the one book that I actually read, which is The Virgin Suicides. Uh, yeah. The dark, This Dark Endeavor by Kenneth Opal. Unhooked by Lisa Maxwell. This is not the Neverland, you know. I don't know why I bought this, honestly. Dean Koontz, Breathless. I have like a lot of Dean Koontz books because there was this time where I was obsessed with Dean Koontz and Stephen King and they are kind of like similar books like horror, Mr. Thriller books. I read Intensity by Dean Koontz and I loved it. I hope that all his books are the same. So I might pick one actually soon. Oh my God, this is a disaster. I have every book. I have every book in this series and I hated the first one reading it. And I don't feel like picking any of them. Like City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. I don't even know the right order of this for this series. City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. The rest are mixed up in here. Another Harry Potter book in a different edition. This is Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. Uh, every book by Sherlock Holmes. This is the Sherlock Holmes collection in this, these very beautiful editions. Look how gorgeous they are. Honestly, I bought these because I thought they were gonna go out of stock and I won't be able to buy them again. I do that a lot, to be honest. Uh, a Man Called Uwe by Frederick Buckman. Um, Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. The Sons by Franz Kafka in these beautiful eye editions. I love these editions. Sharp Objects by Gillian French. Flynn, Gillian Flynn. Who's Gillian French? This is the same author as Gone Girl. Another Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. I actually have all her books. Or, yeah. Uh, Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Dennard. I have no idea what this is, but this is the second Susan Dennard book I have, and this sounds very 2007 YA series and we no longer live in that time, unfortunately. My name is Leon by Kid Dewal. I heard incredible things about this. This is a very powerful read and very beautifully written, but I have yet to find out because I haven't read it. The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini. I actually started this. You can see my bookmark here. Look at that depressing bookmark as well from that painting. Uh, this is a very depressing book and I put it down because I, just, I was so depressed. Tell, I tell you I love you, but then I'd have to kill you. Oh, it's so cringy by Ali Carter. I totally still read these. Like, I totally want to pick it up, but this is a very long ass series. The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. This is a classic, I believe. A uh, very loved book. So I might pick it up someday, but not today. Uh, the Muse by Jesse Burton. I have two copies of this book. I have two copies of this book and this is historical fiction about art and I don't care about art or read any historical fiction books and I don't know why I have two copies of this The Cruel Prince by Holly Black I believe you all know what this is uh, The Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst Can you see how much YA series I have? And I don't read YA series that much the Darkest Part of the Forest by Holy Black. I heard that you have to read this one first before you read The Cruel Prince to get like the full experience. And I have them both and I still haven't read any of them. Um, Vicious by V.E. Schwab in these beautiful editions with the bookmark. And these are so gorgeous. And Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. Haven't read them. Donut Hearts, The Little Friend 
in these in this huge edition with the bookmark and all and i still haven't read it emmy tan's saving fish from drowning i love the name this is supposed to be a classic and this is supposed to be amazing and i still haven't read it this is only the beginning guys if you're bored i am so sorry but go get a snack or something i'm currently fasting happy fasting the secret art of being a grown-up by bridget watson payne this is an urban outfitters book if it, does, if it isn't obvious that it's an urban outfitters book nightmare by lynn brock this is a mystery thriller classic the Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I heard incredible things about this. It's a book series, a trilogy, I believe. And uh, there is a sequel to the trilogy that was released as well. And I love what I love about this is that you have this girl who runs away and her kingdom sends, she's a princess or something, and her kingdom sends two people after her. One of them wants to kill her and one of them wants to marry her. And you don't know who's who. Tara Mafia series. Shatter Me, that series. Unite Me, Ignite Me, Unravel Me. Please don't touch me. Why, why, why are there a lot of... Okay. Park Murakami's Wind Pinball. The Bachman books. I actually have this one. I don't know if they still sell it. This is Stephen King writing under Richard Bachman. One of my favorite books by uh, Stephen King is The Long Walk, which was actually written under Richard Bachman. I read the first book, but there are other two books in here that I still haven't read them. Then we have Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I bought this because I thought this beautiful edition got out of stock like her first book did. Uh, then we have... Six of Crows by Leo Bardugo, another Leo Bardugo book I haven't read, and Crooked Kingdom by Leo Bardugo, and we have these beautiful stained edges. To Kill a Kingdom by Alexander Cristo. I already started, I tried reading this book twice or three times. You can see my bookmark here, and it's so cringy. I put it down after both times. Then we have Mary Lou's War Cross. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about that. Uh, Skink No Surrender by Charlie Heisen. Yeah, I don't know. Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. This is another YA fantasy series. Mitch Albums, The Five People You Meet in Heaven. This is a classic, I guess, a self-help book that is a classic. Ponty by Charlene Theo. Look at how beautiful this cover is. It's so gorgeous. Actually, the story is interesting. I didn't buy it for the cover. The cover is just a plus. Uh, Stalking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Manus Calco. I actually heard incredible things about this series, but I don't want to start it until I collect all the books. But maybe I shouldn't do it now because I already have like tons of books. Then we have Ali Smith's Winter. Autumn by Ali Smith is one of my favorite books ever. But whenever I start this one, I end up putting it down for some reason. Look, here is where 20 pages read. Yeah. The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Tartan. I heard that this was very good, but also really confusing and takes a lot of brain cells to read. And I don't have that right now. I barely have like one and a half. Uh, Chuck Palahniuk's Big Me. I haven't read much from him, but I really want to read like all of his books for some reason. Um, Neural Spark, Memento Mori. I... I believe her most famous one is The Driver's Seat, the Var Virago classical hardcover books. But I really love them and I want to collect them all. Some of them are already out of print, unfortunately. Never Night by Neil Gaiman in this beautiful illust edition illustrated by Chris Riddell, who did the Harry Potter books as well. <sighs> the Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, beautiful book, very autumn-y feels. Haven't read it yet. The Snow Child by Ewan Ivy. Oh, that freaked me out. Yeah, this is a very wintry book. Haven't picked it up. A Darkly Beating Heart by Lindsay Smith. I 
know anything about that. Uh, Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Moira Fowley Doyle. I actually, she wrote The Accident Season, another book by her that I actually really liked. So that looks very odd to me. I'm gonna pick it this fall. The Unquiet Mind, a memoir of moods and madness by Kay Redfield Jemson. This is, I believe, a self-help book or something like that. The Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Do you see like another YA? We really need to pick up like the pace because there are tons more. Hex by Thomas Aldi Havold. This is a horror book about this witch who stands by your bed and looks at you while you're sleeping. And I actually had that nightmare since my childhood. And maybe that is the reason why I don't want to pick it up because it sounds terrifying. The Young Elite by Mary Lou. This is, I have the whole series and every book is in a different edition as well. Um, Alan Hopkins, The You I've Never Known. I started this one, but I never finished it as well. Alan Hopkins books are all very intense. She writes a lot about addiction and suicide. And yeah, maybe I wasn't in this, the headspace for it. The Gentleman's Guys Device and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I have both books in this series. Uh, the next book is John Irving's Son of the Circus. I know nothing about this, but I heard the name John Irving. I was like, isn't that someone, isn't that a great writer? Uh, Margaret Atwood's The Robber Bride. I want to read all of Margaret Atwood's book at some point, and I have a bunch, and I haven't read any of them. Dean Koontz, The Eyes of Darkness, another Dean Koontz book from these airports, paperback editions. Glue by Arvin Welsh. I heard it's intense. Glamour del Toro's uh, and Chuck Hogan's The Strain. I love these editions because they're like tiny, but the, the writing is like really big. Uh, so this is a horror series about it's either zombies or vampires, I'm not sure. The Watchmaker of Filigree Street by Natasha Pulley. It has green edges, but I know nothing about it. Agatha Christie's Halloween Party. Halloween's Party, that's what it's called. Grotesque by Natsuo Kirino. I really wanted to pick this one. This is a Japanese horror book. My heart has incest in it, and I'm not well. It's right there. Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This looks really tiny, and I tried reading it, but these are so hard to read. This is sci-fi, and here's my bookmark. I got to page 22 until I gave up and I was like, this is really hard to read. Um, Arthur Miller, The Crucible, Heist Society by Ali Carter. <laughs> I have two books by her and they are both the same vein. Uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Wi the Lion, The Lion, The Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis and The Automated Alice by Jeff Noon. The Diabolic by S.J. S. Jake and Cade, I really don't care about this at all right now. Conspiracy of Stars by Olivia A. Cole. We're not done, guys. Winter Song by S.J. Jones. Oh, here comes these Cassandra Clare books. <laughs> City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Despise this one. Uh, Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. I heard that this is the good series, but I have to read like the other books to read this one. Dean Koontz, Midnight. See how many Dean Koontz book? And I read only one. Uh, City of Lost Sounds by Cassandra Clare. We have Battle Royale by Kushin Takami. So this is one of my favorite movies, actually. If you haven't watched the movies, the original Japanese movies, please watch them. They were kind of the origin of the Hunger Games. Incredible movies. I really want to read the book. It's a chunky book. Agatha Christie's Death on the Nile. If you don't, fi if you haven't figured it out, I used to pick every Agatha Christie and Dean Koontz book I ever saw on the thrift store. Kate Atkinson Case Histories. Why do I feel like I read this? Maybe not. The Rosie Project by Kareem Simpson. Agatha Christie's And Then They Were None. Yes, I haven't read this one. The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood in this very cool 70s, 50s looking cover. 
she's not that old joyce carol oates by the falls i got it because of the blurb in the beginning if you only read one novel make it this one that's very enticing the rose society by mary lou i told you i have this series and every book is in a different edition the graces by laura eve this is such a beautiful cover this is one of my favorite covers like ever this is a YA series about witches and the font is purple hexed by michelle chris this has a very beautiful like hard cover like that's cool burial rites by hannah kent i heard incredible things about this and that is this very sad and emotional and a great read the leaving by tara alter brando this is a ya mystery thriller i believe um john green's an abundance of catherine's it's embarrassing uh stephen king and the watch this is the last book i believe in the mr mercedes book a series and it's in a different edition Stephen King's Rose Matter. I also used to pick every Stephen book, every Stephen King book I saw. Uh, Tell the Wolves I'm Home by Carol Rafka Brandt. I bought this because the name is very interesting to me. We have The Grace Keepers by Christy Logan. Kirsty Logan, and this very beautiful, very beautiful, stunning edition. If I am coughing, it's because these were like in boxes and stuff and yeah there are a lot of there is a lot of dust one of us is lying by karen m mcmanus haven't read it this is not ending and we still have so much to go through oh my god this was such a mistake but now i've already started and i just gotta go on the book thief by marcus zuzak zuzak let's yeah, I heard incredible things about that. That's my sister's favorite book. I haven't read it. Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I hate this series. My favorite character is a robot. And this is the last book. The Girl with a Clock for a Heart by Peter Swanson. I love this cover and the name. And I heard incredible things about Peter Swanson, like in general. Let me move these a little bit. I have the Song of Achilles by Adlin Miller. I heard incredible things about this. Uh, of Things Gone Astray by Janina Mathewson. Mathewson. And uh, a Letter to the Sky by John Boyne. I heard incredible things about John Boyne books in general. The Bill Jar by Sylvia Plath in this very beautiful edition. Um, the Secret History by Donna Tartt. Here is a second book by Donna Tartt that I still haven't read. The Butcher's Hook by Janet Ellis. I heard this is a very dark horror book and looking forward to reading it. Map of Days by Ransom Briggs. This is the fourth book in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I actually adore this series. This beautiful edition of Jeffren, uh, Jonathan Saffron 4's Everything is Illuminated and Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. I actually read Everything is Illuminated. I still haven't read Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, even though it is his most famous book. Then we have here Bonnie by Mona Awad. This is actually the first book I bought in 2021. And yeah, this is the only book as well that I bought. Sally Rooney, Normal People, I started it and I gave up because it was very boring. Never, Wear, Never World Awake by Marcia Pessel. Marcia Pessel wrote one of my favorite books ever, which is not a film, so I really want to read her latest one. I don't know if she wrote any more books after this one. The Lies They Tell by Gillian French. This is a horror mystery thriller by a book. Stephen King's The Mist, all of Stephen King's uh, novellas are being re-released in these very beautiful editions. I have The Body that I already read and here is The Mist and I kind of want to collect them all. Uh, Ninth House, Ninth House by Leah Bardugo. Didn't I tell you I have like almost all of Leah Bardugo's books? Seriously, still not done. Survive the Night by Daniel Vega. This is a horror YA book. Um, Malice by Kigyo Higashino. Kigyo Higashino is one of the best um, Japanese mystery thriller authors. I still haven't read that one. Uh, Love, Lies and Spies by Cindy Anstey. 
Big Horn Bees Slam, Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane, Stephen King Bag of Bones, Inferno by Catherine Doyle. I actually read the first book in this series like when I was really, really young and I have the second book and I refuse to read the second book until I buy the third book. She is sick, y'all. I Am The Messenger by Marcus Zusak. Another book by Marcus Zusak that I still haven't read. I actually started this one and for some reason I stopped. I don't know why because I remember I was enjoying it. The writing is impeccable. Uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury. This is, I th remember this was a re-release of this very famous horror Halloween book. Um, but yeah, still haven't read it. The Mill of the Floss by George Eliot. I found this very beautiful leather bound edition from the Great Writers Library. And this is a classic and I haven't read it. I'm very happy to own it. It's very beautiful. Ernest Hemingway, A Farewell to Arms, Death in the Afternoon and the Old Man in the Sea. The Beauty of Murder by A.K. Benedict. Another Cassandra Clare book, City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. Another Cassandra Clare book, City of Fallen Angels. I can't believe I hated the first book and I have all of the, her books, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. And then we have To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. The Wrath of the Dawn by Renee Adier. Withering Heights by Emily Bronte in this beautiful edition. Shattered by Terry Terry. And we have Stephen King's Sleep and Owen King's Sleeping Beauties. It's so huge. We're not done. First, We Were Four by Alexandra Saroy. <laughs> a Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. This is another Renee Adier book that I still haven't read. Um, the Choke Man by C.J. Totter, Tudor. I believe this is a mystery thriller book. Uh, the Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I heard incredible things about this series and how like very wintry it is based on Russian mythology, I believe. Uh, the Lonely Hearts Hotel by Heather O'Neill. Uh, here it is, the other part of the series, The Name of the Wind, Patrick Rothfuss. Jeanette Winterson, Art and Lies. Panic by Lauren Oliver. The Twisted Palace by Aaron Watts. This is the Royals book three. I have the first book and the third book. Do you see what I have to deal with? The Bone Witch by Ren Chopeco, the most beautiful covers ever. The Glowing by Kirsty Logan. She has such incredible covers, to be honest. This is uh, a naked hardback, and I believe it is out of print now. We can still buy it used, like. Paulo Coelho's The Zahar. Uh, the Alchemist is one of my favorite books. I love that book. Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I heard incredible things about this. Yeah. I have the second book as well. A Close and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. Dare Me by Megan Abbott. Rashomon and 17 Other Stories by Rionsky Aktagawa. Stephen King, Lizzie story. Please do not kill me for this. I have Cassandra Clare's Lady Midnight in this special edition for some reason. When I haven't read any of the books and I hated the first one. Try to, yeah, I'm panicking. I feel like I'm suffocating under all of these books. Then we have They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. My sister is actually reading this one at the moment, and so I only have the dust jacket. Um, Mega, Mega, Maggie Steve Waters, Blue Lily Lily Blue. I read the first book twice, and I never finished the series. Then we have Monsters of Men by Patrick uh, Ness. I read the first book twice, and I never finished the series. The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. 
uh, the Raven Boys, like I read it twice, as you can see, all of my tabs. Then we have the three, The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater, Siege and Storm by Leo Bardugo, Lainey Taylor's Strange the Dreamer. Lainey Taylor wrote one of my favorite book, uh, book series, which is Daughter of Smoke and Bone. And so I picked her other series in these beautiful editions. Then we have The Muse of Nightmares. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I haven't read them for some reason, you know, because I really love her writing. Uh, the Collector by John Fowles. I think this is a horror classical short story collection. In Her Skin by Kim Savage. Uh, and The Miso Soup by Ryo Murakami. A Study in Charlotte. I already read the first book, but I want to continue on the series. So we have The Last of August. Uh, and The Case for Jamie by Brittany Cavallero, but I really want to buy like the last book in the series so I can binge read it all. Then we have Ruin and Rising by Leah Bardugo. Then we have A Bright Moon for Fools by Jasper Gibson. I know nothing about this. Uh, Elena Ferrante is my brilliant friend. I actually heard the series was great. The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mohsen Hamid. Uh, a Darker Shade of Magic by D.E. Schwab um, I Hate Myself and Want to Die by Tom Reynolds This is about the 52 most depressing songs you've ever heard I have The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand I already started this book and I got this much through and then it was really boring and I didn't DNF it I was like I'm gonna continue it later and I never did Lament Irene by Pierre Lametier. Atonement by Ian McEwen. McEwen. And we have Myth Directioners by Robert Asprin. Asprin. Like, we're almost done. The Ladies Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. This is the sequel to the other book. Mother Cassandra Clare book, Clockwork Princess. Oh my god. House of Leaves by Daniel, Mark Z, Daniel Whiskey. Tried reading this one. This is the hardest book to read. If you don't know, like there's a lot of things about this. Got to page 74 and then gave up. Well, my bookmark says in space, no one can hear you read. Fine. Uh, Stephen King's Doctor Sleep. This is the sequel to The Shining. I actually read The Shining. Uh, Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. Girl Boss by Sofia Amoroso. Stephen King's Girls Game. I'm really interested to pick this one. I guess I'm gonna pick it really soon. Um, the Left Hand of God by Paul Hoffman. The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. Uh, I think it's about vampires, I'm not sure. Powder and Patch by Georgette Hare. The Book Jumper. Um, Deborah Mogis Tulip Fever, um, Somerset W. Somerset Mom, like all of his books, Cakes and Ale, The Painted Veil, Lisa of Lambeth, The Razor's Edge Theater, and The Moons, and Sixpence. Uh, Beast Made of Night by Tochi Oni Onibuchi. I love this cover so much, but I haven't heard the greatest things about this book. The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. A hundred-year-old man who climbed out of the window and disappeared by Jonas Johnson. Catching Fire by Susan Collins. I remember reading the first book of The Hunger Games and never actually continuing the series. Jeffrey Eugenides' The Marriage Plot. It's Relentless by Dean Koons. A Room with a View by Ian e. Forrester. Uh, the Air by Kara Cass. I remember reading the first book, buying the whole book series. And half of them now are like in a box somewhere and I have like some books here as well from that series. Three Dark Crowns by Candera Blake. Another J.K. Rowling book, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Wild Beauty by Anne-Marie McLemore. The Midnight Star by Mary Lou. Uh, the Light Tree by Frances Harding. And this is illustrated by Chris Rodell. Uh, Color of Magic by Terry Patchett. I really like one of my wishes in life is to collect all of the Terry Patchett 40 books from the Discworld series. 
and these editions because they are beautiful naked hardback editions not now i know i know not now uh jane unlimited by kristen kishore scythe by neil schusterman another series about death that i heard very good things about Dead Girl Society by Michelle Chris. The Romanoff Girls by Amy Engel. This is about cult. Uh, the Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket. I don't know why I had to look it up, but this is a series of unfortunate events. First book, and I really want to collect them in these naked hardback that they are now out of print, but even used, I want to collect them. Look how beautiful they are. They have deckled edges. I have the second book as well. This is The Reptile Room. Uh, another YA series, Strange and Ever After by Susan Dennard. Wool by Hugh Howley. The Hunger Games, Mockingjay by Susan Collins. The One by Kira Cass. This is the last of it. We need to talk about Kevin by Lionel Shriver. Jacoby by William Ritter. Night, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Burnett. Ah. Uh, a Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. If you don't know, Libba Bray is one of my favorite authors ever. She has written my favorite YA series, which is The Diviners. So I really want to read everything she has ever written. We have a play, Midsummer's Night Dream by Shakespeare. I hate Shakespeare because I feel very uncultured while reading him because I don't understand anything. Then we have Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. <laughs> this is the only book that I have two copies of because the second copy is the beautiful like special edition hardcover one And the last book on my TBR is The Trader's Kiss by Erin Betty. Look how beautiful this cover is So any of these books if you're still watching till the end, thank you so much for bearing with all of this if you've read any of these books and they, you think they're incredible and I need to pick them up immediately, please tell me down below if you've read some of them and they think they're not worth my time. Also, please tell me down below so I can unhold them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and please don't judge me. I haven't been buying books and I want to actually, maybe by the end of the year, we'll have read half of this, maybe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.